As your company grows, a wiki becomes necessary. But how do you create a wiki? Whether for your team, customers, or users, in this video, I'll show you how to build a fully functional wiki using Notion. Plus, you'll learn how to integrate Notion with other tools like HelpKit to publish professional and easily accessible knowledge bases and help resources. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get automated using industry leading portals, apps and integrations. A company wiki is a place where employees can access company processes, policies and more. And a customer facing wiki is best represented as a help resource or knowledge base. It's where customers can find answers to frequently asked questions, troubleshoot issues and learn more about your products or services. In short, a wiki is a source of truth for trusted information. And ideally, your wiki will be easily integrated into your current workflows so that your team doesn't have to switch through a million tabs to find it. Notion is a standout option when considering what platform to create and manage your wiki with. Whether internal or external, it combines a robust document editor with the structure of a database, allowing you to build functional company wikis, customer help centers, and more. Plus, it is a more than capable work management system for small to medium teams, wanting to manage everything from project tracking to content management. And the real win here is having all of your data stored in the one ecosystem. One reason that Notion is a standout platform when considering it as a wiki software is the way that it uniquely handles items. In other platforms, items might be records or tasks. Now, Notion treats items more like pages or documents with a strong focus on the document editor, which is perfect for wikis or content management systems. Here, we can see a company's wiki, basically an internet of policies and info for employees to readily access. Now, Notion offers multiple views of this wiki and we can break down the documents further through filters and sorting, but how do we get here? Well, that's pretty simple. If you're planning to just share your wiki through Notion, super quick and easy process here. Simple. If we jump back to the dashboard, we'll just add another page and act as if we don't currently have the Acme wiki. We'll title it the same. And then from there, we're going to add headings for our categories. We'll have policies, we'll add a divider below that, and we're gonna add our first page, which will be expenses policy. Now, because this is such a heavy focus on document editing, we're able to really treat this as a robust document editor. We can include images, callouts, quotes, whatever we believe. I'll just quickly jump back out. Now, I just went ahead and copied the content from the existing expense policy, added it here. If we jump back out, we can see that we've just got that currently. Let's add our other category, which will be general, I believe. Oh, let's add an icon to the expense policy, money. There we go. And I'm just gonna align this here. That's the other great thing about Notion is the way that you can customize your pages to really make your work system work for you. So once again, I just went ahead and copied the actual Acme wiki and chucked it in here. All you need to do from creating a page here is then jump up to the top right, select that, and actually turn this into a wiki. It's a functionality featured in Notion. We'll just skip this info session here. It is a new feature, that's why that pop-up appears. And from here, we'll notice a slight change in how it is visualized. We've got a home here, which is actually the view of our collection. If we toggle that, then we're able to select the table view, which is all pages. And because we have the property fields owner here, we're able to filter this by pages that you have created or an owner has created. You can filter your team members and see who is providing the most guides within your wiki. Anyways, from here, we can move on and actually create our own views, filter how we view the wiki docs, or just go back to that simple dashboard style view. Now from here, you could go ahead and share your wiki, but I want to show you the property fields. So we'll jump back into the table view just by selecting that up here. And we'll quickly notice the owner column or property and the verification column. Here, we've got the owner, which refers to the creator of the document and that's automatically set. And then we have the verification, which is a maintenance schedule. Here, we can set it so that this is indefinitely correct or perhaps every 30 days, we need someone to review, update, and maintain that this standard operating procedure or document is actually up to date. From there, I'm just gonna jump back to that home collection. And then what we'll need to do is ensure that we are linking our policies across 
the wiki. If we jump into the finance team here, we'll see we've got some info on what the finance team does, who they are, some FAQs, and we can see that we are actually linking back to those policies and procedures. Well, all you'll need to do is head up to the top right and select share. You'll want to ensure that the right team members have access to this firstly, but to make this live and accessible as a web page, just hit publish. Here, you now have a live wiki. Just like with Notion, you can access and navigate around, but I will note that you do have the ability to search the database. So think about this when you're considering privacy. What are you actually including in your wiki? Which is the perfect lead into adopting a tool like HelpKit to build and launch professional help resources and knowledge bases. HelpKit connects to your Notion to generate professional self-service help centers and document sites. HelpKit is a no-code platform that aims at transforming your Notion documents into professional self-service help centers, helping your customers and users. Hopefully, by leveraging Notion's interface, HelpKit enables you to create and manage knowledge bases without the need for additional software. We actually use HelpKit and Notion internally at Automation Helpers as a wiki base. And it is so easy to set up. You'll just want to head to helpkit.so and then start for free. You'll be signing up for a trial, which will then be asked to upgrade to a paid plan after a certain amount of days. You'll then be taken through, I'll just quickly add a new knowledge base, to show you that you'll be taken through this same onboarding process. The cool thing here is you have the ability to customize your logo, your branding colors, the look of your wiki website. You can also customize how the documentation appears, the fonts, the colors, and more. But I'll skip this so we can quickly get through the example. Here we have the important part. We've got the link to a Notion page. We've got a product template and we've got a blank template. You can choose either or, but we're gonna go with the blank template for this video. What this does is it shows you a Notion page. You'll need to duplicate this to your Notion account. So just select the duplicate up here, then you'll want to select where you're actually duplicating this to. Okay, so this has been duplicated into your Notion account. Now you'll notice you've got some instructions here and below that you've got the collections. Go through these instructions and read them because they are pretty important. But basically what it's telling you to do is to firstly share your knowledge base by heading to the top right and publishing this as a web page. Once you've done this, you'll then want to jump into your help kit dashboard, which you should have been directed to. And we'll notice here that we've got the collections getting started, second, third, and so on, which actually match the collections here. So this is actually the structured database where we will edit our live wiki. If we jump back to help kit and we just take a look at the live website, we'll notice that we've got a beautiful and professional looking wiki. We can see that we've got those collections, getting started, second, third, and another. If we jump into getting started, well, we'll notice that we've got some articles within. Same here, if we jump back into our Notion template, we've got the getting started collection, let's open that. And within it, we've got the first sub-collection title and the second sub-collection title in that first help article. So what happens if we quickly change this to how to access SEMrush? Jump back into here. Now what we need to do is ensure that we sync this so that any updates are pushed to the live website. And we're just waiting for that to sync. Now we can actually jump into each individual collection or article and sync individually, but it's easiest just to do a whole live wiki sync. So what happens if we go into the live website again, we've got getting started from there. We'll notice that the article itself has updated how to access SEMrush. And then if we wanted to edit the content of this, well, we can just jump back into our Notion database and edit it here. Let's remove all of this. And I'm just gonna paste in some pre-prepared info for how to access and use SEMrush. So I included some simple text and a video explaining keyword research in SEMrush. So if we want that to go live on our wiki, of course, we could sync the entire connection or we could jump into the specifics and just resync that particular article. We'll see if the process is quicker, it is, so perhaps you want to do that instead. From there, let's again take a look at our live website. We're gonna jump into getting started, how to access SEMrush, and there we can see the update. We've included the video, which I recorded using Teller. You could use Loom or a number of platforms and embed this content into Notion. And there you have an easily navigated, easily accessible help wiki. If you want to change how it appears after onboarding, well, you'll just head to settings. And from here, you can change how your Notion page looks. 
how it's accessed, as well as connect this with other platforms. Another cool feature of HelpKit is the ability to actually track your analytical data. Who's viewing your articles? Who's using it? However, you will need to upgrade to a higher tier plan in order to access this. I'll make sure to leave some helpful documentation in the description of this video on how to best utilize HelpKit, but perhaps HelpKit isn't the best option for you. Maybe you already have a complex structured database that you want to use in a live wiki and you don't want to change it. Or maybe you want to customize your live wiki further. Well, we must also mention that the help kit pricing reflects just one site. So with my company wiki database connected to help kit, I would be paying $15 per month. This is also only for one editor or user and 25 articles. So we must mention other tools when it comes to using your notion data. Softer and Framer are two that I would love to mention. They allow you to use your Notion data with a web building or app building platform. Softer is perfect for anyone looking to use their Notion data to create apps and client portals. While there are many similar tools available, Softer stands out for its pricing, ease of use, and quick setup. Framer is another popular tool you most likely have heard of. It's a web builder focused on creating sleek and interactive websites with an incredibly attractive pricing point and an easy to use UI. By connecting Notion to Framer, you're unlocking a highly powerful and flexible CMS. Updates in Notion are automatically reflected on your website. So if you're looking for a platform that can do more than just build a professional looking help center, best to check out these options. Now, if you need help setting up your business or automating parts of it, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. Our team of experts are offering a free 30 minute consultation. So book yours today.